Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist David Aldridge. Today's date, Tuesday, May 1st, 2007. How exciting. The time is just after three o'clock. I just pulled up and look at the line, would you? That is a line to get on board the Hurricane Hunter aircraft, also known as the WP-3 Orion, NOAA's special research aircraft that flies right into hurricanes. Let's get a closer look. Uh, what's your name? My name is Richard Neb. I'm one of the forecasters at the Hurricane Center, so I use data that comes from this aircraft to help do the forecast. Yeah. Center. Can you tell me, I was reading the paper, Miss Piggy, is that the name of this aircraft? Or? Well, this is, this is Kermit the Frog. This is right, Kermit right the Frog. there by the door. Where did the Miss Piggy come from in the paper? Miss Piggy is the other NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft's name. So we're actually going onto a frog that, that is not frog. easy being green. That's correct. And there's actually a, a, a NOAA jet that flies around hurricanes that's named Gonzo. Gonzo? Yeah. you got a Muppet theme going on. We do. We that's do. crazy. We have a sense of humor in the weather. Any, any, any planes named Animal, by chance? <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Okay. <laughs> Just check. The hurricanes are the animals we have to deal with. Yeah. Gotcha. My name is Tank Commander Peter Siegel with NOAA. Nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you, too. We'll put this in this white tube here. We'll eject it out of the plane, and this parachute will deploy. It'll float down to the ocean surface. Surface. On the way down, it transmits data two times a second back to the plane. It transmits pressure, temperature, humidity, wind speed, and wind direction back to the plane. How many do you go through in a mission? We might use as, uh, a handful or up to 20 or 30 of them during a the mission. Uh, they cost about $700 each. So you do the math. Is that taxpayer but money? It's my money and it's your money. It's Woo! Money. But if you take a look at uh, the data that get, we get, we send this to the Hurricane Center. They put it into the, uh, the model that they have to run their track forecast. Take a look at the track over there on the boards. The black line is the track, the actual track of the storm. The green line is the track that was forecasted using the drop sun data. And the red line is what the forecast would have been without the drop sun data. So you can see how it greatly improves the, uh, the forecast of the track. It is vitally important that they plan ahead. And that's all part of why we're out here with this uh, hurricane awareness tour. We're making sure that those particularly vulnerable areas around the nation are alerted to the fact that hurricane season is around the corner and we need to be planning and be prepared. Better to be prepared and have planned ahead than to learn by tragedy.